basically what I'm doing is, and I'm making a mecha mechanical battery. Now, I'll leave the link to where I actually first heard about this from. It, it's an amazing concept, actually, um, in my opinion. But basically, excuse me, that poor drawing. Here we have a f flywheel. And it obviously rotates in that direction. And then you have a motor right here. You spin the motor up. And with, so you input electricity to charge it, basically. So, then after you're done, you disconnect power. And it, since it's a flywheel, it will continue to actually spin. And it will use that momentum to generate electricity in the motor. So, well, let's get to building it. I'm going to go ahead and start off in Fusion 360. And I'm using some... Uh, let's see, do I set up the box? I do not. Okay. Wait, yeah, I do. I'm using some of this cheap little electrical tape that I got from Dollar Tree. I'll leave, I guess I'll leave a link to this in the description. Um, Maybe if it's even on their website. So, anyways... Let's get to it. Well, we got done printing. Probably two hours ago. Probably some of those, so. Okay, I already got it off. But. So, here's my. So, I'm just using some electrical tape for the flywheel. And this is just stuff I got in Dollar Tree. Two pack version. Uh, this is actually, as you can see, it's actually blue. But wow, the shadow really looks different on the camera. Okay. And it fits pretty much perfectly. I don't know if the camera, yeah, the camera will pick it up right there. It's just a hair off. So I'll just cut the back. I'll cut back to when the hot glue gun is heated up. Okay, so we're back and hot glue is, oh crap, hot glue gun should be loaded up, uh, I should have something to test it on, uh, there we go, make sure it's heated up, okay, it is heated up, uh, this is going to be difficult to do, hold on, okay, I kind of found my stand, so I'll just have to do it like this. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Uh, I'll cut back to when it's dry. Okay, so it is now dry. Well, at least to touch. It was pretty dry. Um, we got my little power supply here. Now, let me just go ahead and put that on. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to have to set down there camera okay so I got it on the motor I did a little, quick little test to see how long it was been it spun for a pretty good time for just a little flick now uh, this is gonna be kind of difficult I'm gonna turn off my power supply obviously uh, I don't want generating a lot of good sparks um, I'm gonna hold it and let's hope for the best Hope that's break. Oh crap. I have a lot of hope for this one. I do not have an RPM meter right now, so. Hope to get one eventually, but I do not have one. Now it is a little wobbly, but not really that bad. I shouldn't have touched it there, but... This style was actually used on a bus in, in the 50s. I forget where it was. Um, I think it was like, maybe Switzerland? I don't know, but... Um, and... It was an, it powered an electric bus, which I think was really neat. They had, you know, an electric bus back then. 
Oh, ow. Maybe I should turn on the blue gun. Oops. Okay, I just recorded a whole entire part and accidentally injured myself. Um, well, this actually works really well. Um, let's go again and give it another shot. Um, one thing is for sure is that I'm gonna be able to, or I'm gonna have to get a motor with a higher amperage. Right. Oh crap! Uh, well, I'm gonna have to get a new motor. Huh. Well. Luckily, I have another CD-ROM motor, so... Well, this was a CD-ROM motor, but... I'll go ahead and just swap it out for that one. Okay, this motor's a little shorter. I do not like it, but it'll have to do for now. So, let's go ahead and get my power supply booted up. Wow. Well, it's spinning for a pretty long time, actually. I'm shocked. Just, like... Literally less than a second. It spun for what? Well, I don't know. I'll have to check the footage. Probably like four seconds, but also this motor sucks. It has no insulation right there, so have to be careful about that. Um, where are you on? Ooh, drawing. Okay. Let it go. That's a good amount of time, actually. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna have to get a. Definitely gonna have to get a new motor, especially after um. This one, where, come on, focus, where it completely snapped off. This motor's pretty old, too. It's probably a good four years old now. Um, come on, put the camera focus. I'm using my phone's camera, so. Shouldn't expect that much from it, mean, but, no, this... This worked very well for the first test. Um, well, technically second test, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this. Um, I'm keeping this design. Might, or I might scale it up to use duct tape if I get a higher amperage motor. Um, I'll just hope that kind of heals fast. So, um, I'll leave the model for this little peg and I'll leave the I guess I'll leave the link to the electrical tape on Dollar Tree's website too. Um but yeah. This is the end. See you guys in the next video. Bye.